I'm afraid I'm really small. <laughs> Woo! Right, right, nice. Listen here. It's time for slops and robbers, and we are the slime police. And we're about to send someone, aka you, Danny, away down town. I'm obviously the good looking slop. And I'm bad slop, <laughs> all right? I'm the bad looking slop. <laughs> and you know what, Danny? If you answer our questions correctly, you will be all right. Nothing to worry about. This is the slime scene. If you get them, if you get them wrong, oh, you're going to be under a mess. <laughs> well, let's meet today's suspect. Start the tea. For the purpose of the tape, please state your name. Uh, Danny. Lovely stuff. And do you understand that anything you say maybe gives an ab hesitance as raise a tuss like you? <laughs> I have no idea what you just Leave said. Leave it to while, let's carry on. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll be questioning you on what's been going on this week. So, Danny, I really hope you've been paying attention. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <gasps> right, which of David Beckham's children made your full debut for Brentford B football team this week? D Romeo. Oh, correct. All right, next question. What is the name of the book Prince Harry released this week? Spare. Oh, Danny, you're too good at this. Correct. A school in South Gloucestershire are planning to build a library inside what old vehicle? A bus. Oh, that's incorrect. That's an airplane. Yeah. Slime <laughs> Yes. Which award ceremony took place in Los Angeles this week? Pardon? <laughs> which which awards did that ceremony took place in Los Angeles this week? The Golden Globes. Oh yes, correct. Come on, Danny. <laughs> a man in Queensland, Australia, stopped traffic this week to help a native animal cross the road. What was the animal he assisted? A koala. Correct. Oh, right. What is the name of the jumbo jet that attempted to launch a satellite into space this week? No, no, no. It's not I don't even know what I said there. <laughs> <laughs> correct, <Simon. laughs> scored their first UK number one single last week. Sam Ryder. Oh, incorrect. Oh, Sam what? <laughs> <laughs> Sam like go on me. Yeah, sorry about right, that. Molly Sampson, age nine, found what fossil on a beach this week? A, a um, dinosaur bone. <laughs> nope. The wrong answer. It's a melaglodon. Oh. I thought I said that wrong shot too. Right, a new tractor was unveiled this week, but what is it powered by? Slime! No, cow poo! Slime! <laughs> who won? Who beat Manchester City 2 0 two -nil in the EFL Cup on Wednesday night? Ooh. Time's up! Ah! Time's up! Oh, oh, oh. I'm about to chuck another bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> I've chucked oh, it. So right then, do you know how many points you got? I don't care. Oh, quite good. You got four, you got four. I got four? That's quite good then. Add more. Do you want to add more points? No. Well, I'm we fine. Can't enter. We I can just enter. go now. I'll just go. We can go because it's time for this. Right, it's time to answer the ultimate question. If you do, you'll get 20 points added to your overall score. And Danny, you're doing incredibly. But if you get it wrong, you'll be feeling the full force of the law. Aye. It's time for the ultimate question. Aye. Right. The ultimate question is, how many individual pages are there all together in Jacqueline Wilson's entire Tracy Beaker book series? We're looking for a number. A number. 32,005. I mean, you're pretty close, but 1,440 pages. You're incorrect. That means it's sliming time. <laughs> Yes, I'll come back next week. You can if you want. <laughs>